Hello and welcome back to another quilting video. I'm Olivia and today we've got another quick quilting question. Today's question is how do I start and finish my hand quilting? In a previous video in this series I showed how to tie a quilter's knot. You will need to know that in order to do this. So that video is linked down below if you need a refresher. So you need a needle and thread and a quilt sandwich ready for quilting. Cut off about an arm's length of thread, thread your needle and tie a quilter's knot. You need to know where you're starting your quilting. There's two different ways to start your hand quilting. Either you're starting on the edge of the quilt here or you're starting in the middle. Now when you start quilting from the edge, it's easy to just insert your needle through the batting, wiggle it a little bit without poking through the back and come back up to begin your line of stitches. If you're starting a row of stitches in the middle of your quilt, it's almost the same. Stick your needle in around two to three centimeters from where you want to begin your quilting. So if I want to start quilting over here, then I'll enter my needle just here. Again, don't go through to the back, just wiggle the needle a little bit through the batting and bring it up at the spot you want to start quilting. Pull the thread through until the knot butts up against your fabric. Wrap the thread around your fingers a few times and gently tug on it. The knot should pop through the fabric into the middle of your quilt sandwich. Sometimes it takes a couple pulls to get through and sometimes it goes straight through. Often for me it resists a little bit in the beginning and then all of a sudden it just easily pops through. It takes a little bit of time to get the, the pressure, how hard you need to pull to get that through. If the end of your thread, the tail of your thread has gone all the way in, then awesome. If it's still sticking out a bit, just pull it back slightly. Not enough to pop the knot back through, but just enough so you can trim it down. Then just give it a little bit of a rub on each side to bury the knot down in the batting. This will keep it nice and secure and should stop the stitches from coming undone. Now you're ready to stitch away until you get to your end point or your thread gets low. Finishing your line of hand quilting takes just a little bit of planning for two reasons. One, you're going to finish with a stitch down into the quilt sandwich, but you need to prepare for it before you do that final stitch. And two, you can't let the thread get too short because you need enough thread free to make another quilter's knot. Here I am with one more stitch to go before I finish this line. Here's my quilter's knot. Like before, this knot's going to pop through the fabric, so make sure it isn't too big. Now just stitch down through the quilt top without going to the back and move the needle up and down a bit as you move through the batting only. This is just like when we began the line earlier. Give it a couple of centimeters of back and forth in the batting. Check you haven't snuck through to the back because now's your chance to fix it if you have and then bring your needle back up to the top again. Pull the thread through until the needle butts up with the fabric here and just like before, pop your finger down just after your knot. Gently pull the knot through, nestle it down in the batting there and then you can trim the thread off over here and you're done. If this video was helpful, please give it a like down below and subscribe for more quick quilting videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.